Hey everybody, this is Mindy, and I have a finish. Yes, I've been finishing some canvases lately. <laughs> um, this is my crystal canvas art. I'm done a little early. I needed to be done by Saturday for the end of my um, project with Maritza, but I'm done. Anyhow, isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. We're going to review this, and we're going to frame it. Are you ready? Okay, so here's what it looks like. I love it. It's gorgeous. It's sparkly. I'm surprised how red the truck looks. It has a lot of pink in it. It really does. It has a lot of pink. And I'm also surprised how well, well, it's really too sparkly for you right now, how well the tree in the back of the truck turns out because it's a lot of black. But it actually turns out looking like a green Christmas tree. It's awesome. Okay, so super sparkly, of course, it's full rhinestones, but it's one of those kits that just turns out well in rhinestones. Look at the mirror. Look at the windows on the truck. Look at the rails on the back of that bed, right? Everything turns out beautiful on this kit. There's enough difference in the images, enough different color that it just looks great. You can see the pine trees, the tractor, the horse. I'm not sure why the horse is pink. All of this on his back is pink. I didn't get that. Um, that's the one, one uh, thing I didn't really care for. Anyhow, the barns in the background and then all of that sky, that winter sky. Snow looks like snow. Look, you can see the track, like the road where the truck's on. And oh my goodness. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. It's beautiful, right? Just beautiful. Beautiful, right? I love it. It turned out so well. You can even see like shadows of trees or mountains or something back in the background. It's gorgeous. All right. It was so much fun to work on. Um, crystal canvas, their drills come like this. There you go. They come like that. There's all my drills. And yes, I have every single drill left over. I didn't run out of anything. I didn't have any, uh, nothing strange, nothing mixed drills, nothing with this kit. It was perfect. And that's what I have left over, all the colors. You know I'm saving these. Um, I will cut off that uh, strip over there and I will match these up and I'll take them and I'll put them in my long-term storage. So perfect, right? Perfect. I just love this kit. It, it just turned out so beautiful. Here is my trash. All right, let's talk about trash with rhinestones. You will notice the majority of the trash in rhinestones is like they're either um, the colors on the wrong side, like the silver's on the top and the colors on the bottom, and that's backwards, or they're smushed like that one, that gold one right there. They're smushed. A concave. If you pick that up on the other side of it, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but on the other side of this drill, it's, let's see if you can tell. Come on. It's not flat. Okay? It like got smooshed through all the way. And it's not supposed to be that way. So that's the majority of the issues you're going to have with trash rhinestones. Some of them have no backing on them, so they're just clear all the way through and you don't want that. But that's not bad for a 40 by 50 kit of rhinestones. That's not bad. Um, yeah, there's the trash. So what more can I say about the kit, the picture itself, other than it's beautiful? It's beautiful. Now what am I going to do to this? I just got done with it. I used white wax through most of it. I don't have any residue. I'm not worried about anything on this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my trusty rolling pin out, my cookie rolling pin. I'm just going to roll it. Make sure everything is sealed down here properly. I'm putting in it in a, blah, blah, blah. I am putting it in a frame with glass. I'm not going to seal it not doing anything to it except putting it in the frame. Okay. It's going to be totally protected behind that glass. So I'm just going to make sure these are set. I'm pushing pretty hard on this 
Just make sure all these rhinestones are set where they're supposed to be. They're not coming off this canvas, right? And then we're gonna just pop it in a frame. Um, I was getting my groceries yesterday. Something keeps popping down over here. I'm gonna do it a couple times until it stops making noise. Anyhow, I was getting my groceries yesterday and I said, hey honey, let's just go look at the frames real quick. I was actually looking for a frame for a different painting and I found this frame and I was like, oh, uh, this frame will be perfect for my crystal canvas, which I'm just about done with. I finished it this morning, okay? I don't think, I'm just gonna lightly go over this with a toothbrush. I don't think there's anything on here. I've looked it over pretty close. There's really nothing on here. I'm doing it lightly. I don't want to have drills pop off, which you could pop them off with the toothbrush. But I just don't think there's anything on here to worry about. I didn't see any dirt, dust, wax. I don't even have any hair in it, which is amazing. I always get my own hair in the paintings. But this one looks clean, good. All the drills appear to be there, ready to go. All right, so like I said, I found this frame and I think it's gonna be just perfect, okay? Um, this is a 40 by 50 canvas and um, I think this will fit in here perfectly. Although that's, oh, that's the mat size, sorry. 41 by 51 is the centimeter size here. See, 41 by 51 is the centimeter size, that's 16 by 20 inches. Now matted, it goes down to a 13 by 14, and those are the centimeters. But a 40 by 50 will fit perfectly in a 16 by 20 frame, okay? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna just cut off all the edges. I have no fear that this is going to fit in here. Now, when I cut these, okay, I just get really, really, really close. I try to get the black line that's on the edge off and you can kind of push the drills over with your scissors if they're sticking off the edge too far, okay? If they stick off the edge too far, just kind of nudge with your scissors, they'll move over, all right? Every once in a while, one's way over and I kind of pop it, but I just put it back on. But, okay, I'm gonna do this to all my edges. I'm gonna cut them all off. Now, I don't need you to watch all this. So I'm going to come back after I have them all cut off and then we'll put it in the frame. All right. So here it is all trimmed up. I cleaned it with a toothbrush. You could always take a baby wipe and wipe it over that if you feel like you have any wax or dirt or anything, but mine was pretty clean. Here's where my husband hates what I do because I take our, our butter knife <laughs> and I just pry these little things up with a butter knife. This one's a really nice frame too. This is working really well. So I'm gonna open this up carefully. Always have to be careful when you have these tabs, you know, because they will pop out if you're not careful. Um, and we're gonna take the insides out and we're gonna see how this fits. I think it's gonna fit perfectly. This is one of the easiest framing jobs in the world. A 40 by 50, find a 16 by 20 frame, and you're pretty much good to go, seriously. Um, I'm gonna use the knife again, kind of pry in here, pop this up. Sure, uh -huh. make a liar out of me. Doesn't wanna come up, here we go. There we go, take that out, set that over here. Oh, it's got a little piece of foamy stuff in there. We don't need that now, do we? Here's the picture paper. Sometimes I've used these in the past if I need to, to put something on it. But in this case, we don't. We're gonna take everything out of here, including that mat, because we don't want it matted any smaller, right? And we're just gonna plop our picture right on in here. Make sure it's nice and centered. Um, and if you know anything about framing, when you look inside a frame, 
Now you see the, the picture itself is not coming right to the edge and it doesn't matter because there's a little color around the edge of the painting that you know you don't you don't see. So just make sure it's right in the center really good and you're not going to be able to see any uh, glass through it. Okay, because it's a little bit smaller than this frame, but you won't see that. You won't see that at all. Okay, our frame goes this way. How did I just put this in here? What in the world? Why does this have a... Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. It's got two of the little hook things either way on the top or the bottom. Oh, come on. Slide back in here like you're supposed to. This is a really tight fit. Really tight fit. And I might have to go in and adjust the picture because I may have moved it. And if I need to adjust it at all, I can always put a little piece of tape in there to hold it. Man, it really fits tight. Okay. That's why it came out so hard. Now I have a piece of hair in there. All right, come on guys, let's go. Go back in there. Wow, it's really not wanting to go in. It's hitting the, hitting the tabs, hitting the tabs. Okay, I'll do it like this. And we'll just pull those tabs out with the knife and we'll do that. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll win. We'll win the battle. Now did it move? So I'm only going to do a couple of these and flip it over and test it. See if my picture moved. If it did, then we have to do all that all over again. Nope. No, it did. It moved up from the bottom here. See? Can you see the bottom down here? Let's see. See the bottom? See the little bit of cardboard showing through there? I don't like that. It's got to move down. All right, so we're going to move it down. Hopefully we'll be able to get this back in here a little easier this time. See if I can push these really tight up against the edge this time. Okay. I'd like to be able to just move it without taking the whole thing out. I wonder if I can do that. Oh, hang on. Okay, I just need to slide it down just a bit so that I don't see. Okay. All right, let's try this. Sometimes you just got to play with things, folks. I'm missing one tab, right? Nope, it's there. All right. I slid it down a little bit. It should be just fine. All right, let's turn it over again. Make sure. All right, looks good. There it is. I'll go tighten those up in a minute. I'll just show you what it looks like. Let me zoom you in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Hang on. Zoom, zoom. I saw this done up in a white frame on Crystal Canvas's Arts website, and it just looked really, really good. And so when I saw the white frame, I knew that was what I was going with. Doesn't it look good? How easy is that to frame? You just have to make sure that it's even in that frame because it's a little bit short on each edge. If you're worried about that, you could leave some edge, but then you'd just see the white edge. But just make sure it's totally even in there. You might have to mess with it a little bit, but it's an easy frame job, right? It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous, right? Beautiful. Let's see if I can zoom you out now. There it is. Just gorgeous. Gotta love it. It's ready for Christmas this year. <laughs> All right. There's a quick frame job and a post review all in one. Thanks for watching, you guys. And um, happy diamond painting. Um, finish some stuff.
frame it. You know, that's what we do it for, right? It's easy. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if this has been at all helpful. You know, sometimes it's just nice to watch people do things, even if we have to struggle a little bit or a lot, you know, we all do. Anyhow, thanks for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye guys.